This morning, President Biden attended the dignified transfer of three service members killed in Jordan. ABC's Ike Jachi is in Washington with the latest. President Biden and the First Lady attending the dignified transfer of three U.S. Army reservists who were killed Sunday in a drone strike in Jordan. This is Biden's second time attending a dignified transfer since taking office, last attending the somber ceremony in August of 2021 to receive the remains of service members killed in the Kabul airport bombing in Afghanistan. Before the somber moment at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware, the president meeting with the grieving families of 24-year-old Sergeant Kennedy Sanders, 23-year-old Sergeant Brianna Moffat, and 46-year-old Sergeant William Rivers. Their deaths are the first U.S. fatalities blamed on Iran back militia groups who for months have been ramping up their attacks on American forces in Iraq and Syria since mid-October. Earlier this week, the White House saying the Islamic resistance in Iraq, an umbrella group of Iran backed militias, had planned, resourced, and facilitated the deadly drone attack on Tower 22 in Jordan. Meanwhile, the U.S. finalizing its plans for its retaliatory multi-day, multi-target assault. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, who is also in attendance at Dover Air Force Base, placing blame on Iran Forensic evidence determining Iran made the drone fired by the Islamic militia group that hit the base. How much Iran knew or didn't know, we, we don't know. But it really doesn't matter because Iran sponsors these groups. It funds these groups. They have a lot of capability. I have a lot more. A U.S. official telling ABC News that militants and their weapons in Iraq, Syria, and possibly Yemen are all on the list of likely targets for retaliation. President Biden has stressed that he does not want a broader war with Iran. The administration has also warned that its response to the deadly assault will not be a one-off, saying they plan to send an unmistakable message. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Washington. President Biden did not speak during the dignified transfer.